Tom Hartman calling into his own show. You you couldn't stay away from the microphone for two days. No, I couldn't. I'm I'm here in New York at the Talkers Convention, and uh, but I you know I woke up this morning. Well, actually, last night on uh, went on TV. I, Curtis Ellis was uh, going through the studio, and I said hi. And he's the guy who runs the ObamaTrade.com website. And and I discovered that he used to do fill in for me when I was on IE America Radio 13 years ago. Wow, uh, which is a whole another amazing story. But anyhow. Um, he gave me this list, which I've forwarded to you guys, of, of the eight Democrats who um, who facilitated the rule yesterday that was necessary to allow a vote on, on Fast Track TPA today. And among them was Earl Blumenauer. He used to be a regular on my show when I was in Portland. Yes. And I always, always thought he was a wonderful guy, but um, I'm just astonished. I called his office this morning and I said, if he continues to do this, I will do everything I can to primary him. And the woman said, uh, thank you very much. I said, you don't want my name, you know, information. I, I am actually, you know, a property owner in, 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 in Oregon, and I am. And, uh, and she said, nope, nope. And so I called Carl Wolfson's, Wolfson's show, uh, you know, on X-Ray FM in Portland. And, and Carl and I had a nice conversation about that. And uh, I'm, you know... This is what happened in '93. There were there were 30 some odd Democrats who went along with all the Republicans and Bill Clinton and pushed NAFTA, and about half of them lost their seats the next time around, and because of NAFTA. And that's why New Gingrich took the House. And it's going to happen all over again. Uh, although interestingly, it may happen to the Republicans. We'll see. But um, whatever it is, if uh, if any of these guys do this, I will support primary challengers. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure I can commit financially, but I will support them in any other way I can. Yeah. And uh, to, to any of these guys, I'm just astonished that we've got Democrats who are, you know, and Ron Wyden and, and Earl Blumenauer co-authoring an op-ed piece for the for the Oregonian um, pitching this. Sean was telling me this morning it's it's uh, all all pro TPP all the time advertising in the Pacific Northwest. They will there will be more jobs because of the TPP in the Pacific Northwest because there'll be more ships coming in with cheap stuff from Vietnam to unload. Uh, but that's, those are not the kind of jobs we need.